So we're here at Mangapa Tennis Club, 30k outside of Wagga Wagga, a small country town of only a population of 120. Here I'm standing on one of the six new plexi paved courts that Mangapla has built under Tennis Australia's National Court Rebate Scheme. And these courts are the major reason for a big boom of people playing and participating in tennis in the region. It wasn't long ago the sight of kids out on court enjoying their tennis at Mangapla didn't even exist. Ray Creasy played junior tennis in the area before moving away for 10 years. When he returned, Mangapla was a vastly different club. And then when we come back into the area, there was virtually no tennis. There was 12 teams left. There's no, no tennis here. Um, and grass was knee high on the courts. We couldn't come down for have a hit. So half a dozen locals, probably some of the ones you see standing over at the tank, um, decided it was a good idea that we got it together because everyone knew there was a heap of kids around the area and hadn't played tennis. Ray took on the role of club president and set about rebuilding the club to its former glory. Interest in the game grew quickly after Ray and a few locals cleaned up the courts. Then Ray led the charge to upgrade the court surface at Mangapla, applying for grants with Tennis Australia, the Australian Government Water Fund and Wagga Wagga City Council. All three applications were successful and within six months the project was complete. We donated the cartage and tractor work and right. other people donated their time. Like the first two weeks of the project was pretty intensive. Um, all these fences and gateways here were all pulled down so trucks and tractors could get in and all the bottom fence all around was lifted and where initially the project was going to be like a fence totally removed but, um, and rebuilt but we didn't have quite enough funding for all that so we probably cut a few corners but we got the main thing done and done well I think. We just went for an easy manageable probably a very low maintenance surface um, just for with the fact that we had asphalt courts down we gained an extra uh, adult team and an extra juniors team the kids and probably about another five or six families involved with the social tennis so even before the flexi pay was down the interest had increased probably double to the previous season. Now I'm told there's only 120 people actually live in Mangapa and you've got 80 playing tennis that's a pretty good ratio. Yeah, yeah no it's really good so uh, between football and, and the tennis, that's what keeps the little town going, so it's really good, yeah. Yeah, what does it mean to the community like, yeah. like Mangapai, to have great facilities? Well, it gives them a boost. Um, it makes them feel like they're an important place now. Um, we're on the map. <laughs> yeah, because uh, especially in the media when we first talked about it, it you know, it was come up um, saying how good the courts have and yeah, the Wagga City Council, they've really appreciated what we've done too, so yeah, that's no, it's been great. So. <laughs> Given us, given us a spotlight, you might say. Yeah. <laughs> and how does everyone like the the bright blue courts in the middle of, in the middle of the bush? <laughs> Certainly a lot better. Everybody thinks it was a swimming pool when they go past there. <laughs> Thanks to the efforts of Ray and the Mangapla community in this area of the New South Wales bush, tennis is well and truly thriving again.